There really isn't any way around it. Bed Bath & Beyond is in a death spiral. They, over the last 12 months, they've lost $9.73 per share compared to $5.83 in the last fiscal year. And one of the ways we can identify companies like this that are in a death spiral is looking to see how long does it take them from the time they spend money until the time they make money, which in the case of Bed Bath & Beyond is 60 days. Now that is really bad in this sector. Target, for example, is negative five days. Walmart is a positive five days. Also actually very, very good. Investors are still tempted by stocks like this because they remember the survivors, those rare few that were able to turn a death spiral into success, like Best Buy, for example, in 2013. But those are very unique situations. We're misled because we don't remember the vast majority that don't survive. The Sears, Circuit City, Radio Shack, Fry's, Pier One, Kmart, Goodies, Fred's, Barney's, etc., etc. So it gives us this distorted idea of how likely it is for a company in a death spiral to actually make its way back out.